thanks for hanging out with us on this on why in the morning my name is by Moses or it's by morning every social media platform so as we uh, continue in the spirit of celebrating the Queens uh, we have uh, the girls talk segment I'll be standing in for Valentine uh, she's a little bit uh, under the weather uh, so you can help us also uh, send her messages of uh, get well soon or <laughs> get well soon messages uh, in that uh, the order is uh, is reversed uh, but our topic of conversation uh, today is dealing with difficult people in life and this is what we have on our facebook as well so you can visit that uh, to be part of it but on set i have very able uh, people with me very able youths uh, yeah. from the dubai for karibuni mm, sana mm, thank you uh-huh. is, is oguda qualified to be called a youth oguda yeah. am i too young it's <laughs> like you're too old <laughs> <laughs> you're right here yeah. oguda is not a youth it, anyway it can be it can be not up to you <laughs> I already love it. <laughs> I already love it, this conversation. Uh, maybe you can start with you, Madam Stone. Hey, everybody. Uh-huh. I am still the Stone. Uh-huh. I'm back. Uh-huh. And Tuval, we miss you. You better get yourself better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, and that's mm-hmm. fair. Twendele, Ivo, Ivo. Pale social media, pia mneza tusaidia kumtumia messages as I could get well soon as well. Uh, then back to you, uh, mm, the, yeah. the, the second guest youth. <laughs> 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 okay, my name is Oguda Bradley Sakara uh-huh. Kayesu uh-huh. and um, I have a title of Senior Comrade uh-huh. and I'm here to help us dissect this hatred thing. Right. By the end of this show, uh-huh. well, teachers have uh, a work plan uh-huh. that by the end of the lesson they have something. You good. have learned this and this and yeah, that. Yeah, so by that. the end of this we shall have melted all haters up there. Alright, yes. uh, so uh, the only problem is that haters themselves they don't even know that they are haters by the way some of us could be haters like i sensed some hate (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) okay so (laughs) it's like the dad Uh when you are dead you know nothing you're just lying there Uh it's only difficult for some people for for other people but you are there you you just there you you Uh feel nothing you are uh, just like there then uh-huh. but it's very difficult for others who have been left of and all that or uh-huh. the windows it's the same when you are stupid you don't know you don't know that you're stupid <laughs> and it's the same when you are a hater all right you don't know that you, you don't know that you're a hater you so we are going to be helping these it haters. is only difficult for others <laughs> <laughs> all right but at the end of this we are going to be helping them haters to know where they are yes. if you're a hater so that or they know that they are haters uh-huh. i don't know how we can they can help themselves all right haters are very difficult people yes they have certain characteristics yes. uh mr guda mm. and uh we meet them in different situations mm. uh, but i'd like us to start by uh, uh what are some of the flags that you see and you just know this person is a difficult person or a hater uh, okay, for me, uh-huh. the very minute I leave my house uh-huh. and I'm like at the gate, uh-huh. and my neighbor is like, Kwanu elazmu vengo ya red kila siku. You know, it's not like I wear red <laughs> dr- dresses all, uh-huh. every day, uh-huh. but she's always like, I know this is a difficult person. Uh-huh. That is a flag for sure. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who just gets into your space, your mm. personal space like yes, that. Yes, yes. Characteristic of a dis- how do you How do you just see a person and you know... You see the view from the look. Somebody yeah. is looking at you uh-huh. and not even smiling. Uh-huh. Looking like they are fault finders. But some people don't like to smile. Yeah. They, 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 they are fault finders. They okay. are just looking for mistakes. But Atang- like Arudi yes, Arudi it's not looking for, for anything good. Uh-huh. Like somebody going to a, an orange tree, uh-huh. but instead of seeing at the fruits, he's only seeing the thorns. Uh-huh. Just the thorns. Yeah. Yeah, how, how comes it has thorns? Uh-huh. Yet there are also fruits there and it's not even mentioning this. So are you it's trying to say, Kaisu, as much as we have difficult people, uh, we humans are also not perfect? We have we not have perfect, fruits, we are living in a sinful thorns. world. The devil, the, 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 the author, yeah. the founder of sin <laughs> and badness, is staying here with us. <laughs> Stay here in that. So how do you expect? Right. Yeah, it's like staying in the toilet, the, the latrine, no toilet, the right. latrine out there, uh-huh. and not expecting flies. 
Alright. Yes, flies must to be in the flies latrine. Flies must be there. In the latrine. So that is uh-huh. about the sale and the world. Their mistakes. Uh-huh. So if you come here to look for mistakes, you You'd, must get them. You must get them. Yes. But if you're that kind of person that capitalizes on the mistakes and the faults, uh, you are going to uh, you are going to miss uh, the, the the beautiful things that come yes. uh, that come with life. Mm. All right. I'd like to know. Um, uh, Linda, stop. In, in, in storm, <laughs> storm is the name. Yeah. Storm. storm is a very aggressive name. <laughs> Shout out to storm. Okay, but okay. In let's say in a neighborhood setting. Okay. Mm-hmm. How do you deal with uh, with haters in a neighborhood setting? Are you the, uh, the the kind of person that is going to be aggressive back, or are you the kind of person that is going to? take things lying down or are you the kind of person that is uh, going to report them to the third party uh, how do you handle this situation well you know i'm the storm so uh-huh. i bring storm everywhere you so bring storm everywhere. Yeah, so <laughs> if you're in my business uh-huh. then uh, there's going to be a problem there's going to be a problem but then again i, I think i am the storm that jesus comes so uh-huh. sometimes i take things easily so i you know wow. like, Please. You have a lot of uh, wise business. words and poetry as well. Thank you. All right. So, uh, what out of all these ways that you uh, use to deal with these people, which one is always the most effective? The most is effective. I. It's sad, but it's the one where I get to be tough uh-huh. and uh, really loud uh-huh. and shout a lot. This is the one really that gets I, the message. More. Yes. Because, right. but I. It doesn't really work for so long. Like, I'm sure too for a while, but. Cash or peer mm-hmm. will still be at, at the same place. At the same place. Yes. All right. So there's no proven effective way of dealing with Kamati Yarocha. We had a neighbor, mm-hmm. a Ugandan lady, mm-hmm. who was really uh, was a drunkard. Uh-huh. So imagine me planning to come to job, uh-huh. sleeping as early as eight. Mm-hmm so that I wake up at by four, mm-hmm. prepare for work, mm-hmm. and then at around one, mm-hmm. around midnight one, mm-hmm. she's back, and back wailing, mm-hmm. very drunk, and then putting the volume up there to over 100, mm-hmm. so the whole floor is awake, uh-huh. and she's wailing, uh-huh. and it's like every day, uh-huh. so she was difficult to uh-huh. us, uh-huh. so we, d- we decided to be difficult to her too, uh-huh. the whole floor. Uh-huh. Decided to be difficult. T- t- tell me about I that. Love, difficult. Mm-hmm. I love how she resisted our difficulty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, we dealt with her difficulty mm-hmm. like, in negatively. Like, uh-huh. And I love how she she fought back uh-huh. that because um, we warned her they, they, when we were fed up, we uh-huh. warned her, we told her, you are not going to continue this way. Mm-hmm. So if you do this, you will make sure you leave this place mm-hmm. and uh, go to another place. So she didn't listen. She she boycotted the first day. She didn't make noise. But the second day, she came back to her real character. Uh-huh. She came back at around now two two a.m. Mm-hmm. and started shouting. Uh-huh. So we all w- woke up at Kavunja Kiyoyake Hotel We broke the the glass. We all took pills. Went to the tap to catch up magic to Kimwaga and Dania Nyumba and Dania Nyumba the whole. Like the whole night, Nafanya to your kazi. Yeah, I loved what she told us. My neighbors, I know you want me to go and you're doing this so that I go. I won't. I won't go. I'm here. I won't go. She didn't go until the agent and the landlord themselves refused to take her rent uh-huh. and told her, you must go. You're giving us problem. You must go. Uh-huh. So, I think it's good to resist. You told people, you tell people that you, you are... It's good to have a stand. Yes. There was also another choir director of ours who was elected uh-huh. and people were giving him pressure. People knew he did not perform. So uh-huh. people were giving him pressure to resign. Uh-huh. So one day he just stood in front of people and said, I'm not resigning any soon. So <laughs> you get, you better get used to me. Uh-huh. I think that works. That always works. Yes. Be strong. Be stand strong. for something. Yes. Tell them. Martin Luther said, if you stand, f- if you don't stand for anything, you don't deserve to live. Uh-huh. Yes, you sh- should be living for anything. Uh-huh. If there's not nothing you are willing to die for, uh-huh. then you are not worth living. Wow. There must be something you are willing to die. Why swords from case right there? This is that girl stock segment. Yeah, sorry, we are two men <laughs> and one lady, <laughs> but you're going to get an insight. She's the queen. Uh, she's our queen. Uh, but 
remember, we have this topic on Facebook as well, uh, dealing with difficult people. And I see your comments already coming in. So keep them coming. We are going to be sampling them uh, in a few right there. Uh, but uh, I see we have these kind of people who always discourage you. Have you seen this kind of people? Have you met this kind of people? You tell them, me next week, natakuwanza kusave manze. By the end of the year, nifanye, even Ivy, and I can be ah, where, 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 where would I save me? I'm an extreme nataka kut after uh, job flani, ya usiku, nifanye, even Ivy, a tea we wazy make. I'm an attack war, sasa, when I can be a wazy make. Have you interacted with these kind of people? Okay, so mm -hmm. I, I, I think uh, the best thing about life is to never tell anybody anything. Because the moment you tell somebody, I'm going to be saving up money to to buy something, they'll be like, don't save up money. You're only earning 100 bob per day. What's, what are you going to do with 100 bob? Mm -hmm. you, will you save 20 bob? What will 20 bob do? You know you're not going to save anything. Mm -hmm. But if you thought to yourself and said, I'm going to save up 20 bob and nobody, I'm not going to tell anybody. No one is discouraging you. Mm -hmm. So why do you have to tell people about things? Should For me, uh -huh. I just rather keep quiet uh -huh. and do my stuff. And yeah. The best thing to deal with, the best way to deal with people who like to discourage people is just staying silent. Yeah, not telling them anything. There's no way that you can live Be in this world without yeah. being discouraged. Like even your best friend will discourage you. Don't do it. You're still not ready. Who knows when it's the right time in this world to do anything? So discouragement is like oxygen. It's yes. Here with us. Yes, it's all over the air. All right. But I've never done anything I've achieved in this life. Uh -huh. There's no single thing I've done without before being discouraged. Uh -huh. Nothing, including education. Uh -huh. I. I came to university through Arambe, community uh -huh. Arambe. Uh -huh. So when I was walking through inviting people to come to my fundraising, uh -huh. somebody, a primary teacher, just told me you can't make it. The life of the university education is too tough. You can't make it. And again, you'll need a lot of money. No learning journalism at the University of Nairobi, my cousin learned, used to pay over eighty thousand per semester. That uh -huh. is like a term. Where are you going to that get that kind of money? Uh -huh. And uh, so two things, the academics, the academics is and too tough finances. for you and finances is too tough for you. So I think you should not do what you can't do. Uh -huh. And you know what? I finished. <laughs> You're doing your master's now. <laughs> yes. I finished that, that first degree without uh, help. Uh -huh. That it means I manage finances. Uh -huh. And uh, I scored the best grades. I got the best grades. You are the top of your class. Yes. So apart from that, Ogure, you are the top of your I, class. I, I want we to should, avoid that. We should have a standing <laughs> ovation for him. Ogure, you are the top. Let's just start now. Ogure, you are the top of your class. So yes. you got a scholarship to to do your masters. Yes, I'm doing my masters uh -huh. of scholarship because they pick the best uh, uh -huh. scholarship in anticipation uh -huh. that you will be a lecturer. You qualify to be a lecturer. Uh -huh. also. Yes. Uh -huh. So they prepare you. They start pre more, more they like. How they do to the kids? This is after discouragement. <coughs> Not even one. Several of them. Several. Some people assured me that uh, they are sure. You are going I, to fail. I am, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail financially. Uh -huh. I'm also going to fail academically. Yeah, and here I am. Another one, I've started some businesses, Kidogo Kidogo. Uh -huh. People told me, okay, there is a time I started a school inside my church, uh, uh -huh. at, at our church compound. Uh -huh. And one of the elders told me, that we've started, we've, we've tried starting this several times and it has failed. So if you fear, fear failure, uh, please just don't start it because it's going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> that school <laughs> has done KCP three times. Now. I started it from preschool. And by then I was also a, a student, a, a, a high school student. So I started it at preschool. Now it is the best academy and people in our area, uh -huh. as children as small as Two, three years, you can hear them playing in English. Speaking <laughs> deep in the village. That, that, that I was told, uh, like, I was mobilizing people to help me start this. Uh -huh. And people now who should, like, be helping me, people who have money, 
And people who are a bit, that guy was a teacher, uh -huh. a retired teacher, uh -huh. was telling me plain on my eyes that people have started and it has not succeeded. Uh -huh. Why do you think it's going to succeed? It's not going to succeed, stop it. Or if you are going for it, we're going to start it, mm -hmm. go alone. We don't want to fail with you. Go and fail alone. Oh. After some time, uh -huh. after some time when it was speaking, when everybody, it was attractive until even people who don't belong to that church were coming to be committee members to bring their kids. Uh -huh. Kids were coming even from the other side of the river, other uh -huh. villages. Now they came in to, to brag that this is our school and they want to take control of everything when they were discouraging me. Uh -huh. Lastly, uh, there are some businesses that I started and we were... You, buy some space you see why we develop. can't call him a youth and all that <laughs> he has done a lot of things <laughs> you try developing that I and like somebody stuff. tells you that this is not a bit of a moleo very soon so please don't try so we, you have a different way of dealing with that yes the you, you prove them you oh, like linda said you they must be there uh -huh. so you do so linda says and prove don't them tell them what you're planning yes for me I tell says, them, uh, tell I tell them and them, prove they discourage me and i prove them wrong and i've done that a plethora of times so you can pick your way of dealing with the the, the, yes. the people who like to discourage people mm -hmm. you either don't tell them what you're planning or you tell them and prove them wrong yes well me i think an yeah. element of surprise is always good like, <laughs> an element of surprise yes. is always good so you just one day you just wake up and you are driving this wonderful car and people are like oh so she has a car oh so she's joined illuminati and all that yeah. stuff so <laughs> they'll be talking about me yeah. now but when they have no idea uh -huh. how I did it uh -huh. because they ne I never got to tell them. Uh -huh. But if the youth, okay, okay. Are older, I think <laughs> the youth, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I like the, the conflicting the conflicting views, yes. uh, but they both work. Yes, because it work. has worked for you and it has worked for you. Yes. So it's upon the viewer to choose yes. which one they prefer mm. the best. All right, I like the one. Okay, so then we have uh, this kind of people who will always uh, tell lies about you yes i told you before off camera mm -hmm. that there are several people out here who hate you mm -hmm. not because you've done anything bad to them mm -hmm. but because somebody told them a lie about you and mm -hmm. they believed i call them fools mm -hmm. <laughs> those who believe mm -hmm. what somebody tells them uh -huh. and you they have not experienced this one or one from you so they just carry this burden of hate yes. in their hearts Imagine uh, you without any maybe any evidence place or a school and uh, somebody tells you to make a rain in to go to sana uta tujua to tujua eh have you done nothing to them and this also <laughs> happens with uh i'm sorry to say but it happens a lot in school settings yeah. uh in uh, with teachers one teacher tells another teacher yes. that student is a very bad boy mm. or a very bad girl yeah. yes and the, the other teacher has no experience. Yeah, but maybe experience. you're just bad because of the energy that this other teacher, uh, Ali Project Kwako, then you returned uh, bad energy with bad energy. Yes. All right. Yes. So that's where, where the problem is. But, Somebody, but there are also people that just generally just hate you. If they've not had anything, but they such people exist and they are just they okay. just hate you you've, nev you've never had a situation where damu yako haingiani na mtu everybody has <laughs> No. I just think you ought to have a reason for hating somebody. Uh -huh. It must be in the way they look. Uh -huh. You can't just or hate something. somebody. Yes. It's rooted somewhere. Yes. Or the problem is you, not them. Yeah. The, the problem could be my ancestors. I don't know, <laughs> but you see, they now hate me for the okay. reasons I don't know. I like. I mm. like. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. It said speak. <laughs> then, who was who was trying to mix your blood? <laughs> <laughs> who was trying to mix your blood? You and it's not like you. Um, I mean, I could donate here. Now. Yes. <laughs> but there are people you should avoid. Uh -huh. uh, somebody told me in a business. Damu <laughs> Yes. 
Okay. The Muyo to Ingiani, so we should like uh, part. A- and and yeah. you never yeah. know yeah. that the Muyo to Ingiani na yeah because you you are just there. You don't know that he or she hates you. Uh-huh. Aujud the Muyo to Ingiani. So the, the, by the time you are finding out, uh-huh. when you start realizing, oh no wonder he does not talk to me in uh-huh. this type of way. No wonder uh-huh. he's always rude to me. And you're asking, what did I do to this person? But there's a point Kaisu is bringing up that there are people you should just avoid. Uh-huh. How do you know these people that you should just avoid? Up there, you can know the person who brings people down. Uh-huh. If they interacted for Linda's situation because mm-hmm. he's the only lady here. Uh-huh. You know a guy who was in a relationship with somebody. She brought that lady down to, to zero. <laughs> Went to another girl, brought that girl to zero. Number three, and now she he's coming to you as number four and telling you with you mm, when you are dumb, when you are millennial. See, that person you should avoid uh, again in a business situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody advised me that if there is a difficult client, refer him to the competitor or refer to the competitor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have uh-huh. a shop, and then somebody there are people who come to your shop and ask you, in the person, 300, Naila, 800, Nai. He will ask for about 30 minutes, if some customers are waiting, about 30 minutes, and then he says, Sawa, ni pechi wim gam. Aman tarudi. So how do you deal with that? Refer to the competitor. When the pali, you can't put a ching. Yeah, it's a pali, you can't put a ching. Chi wim gam tam, you can't put a ching. Okay. So that's the best way to deal with it. Okay. If there's a girl competing you, if there's a girl like in gun situation uh-huh. like storms, uh, you you can recommend that guy. All right. We, but we, so we I, 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 hear, I hear ladies uh, have this challenge more than uh, th- than men. Challenge. Mm. Yeah. What to ambao? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's just natural for women. Like. Uh-huh. If another woman looks good, like very few women would, <laughs> would say, but they would demand a kapoa, uh-huh. and it's just good Genuine. from the heart. Uh-huh. But you know, a girl can be saying, but they would demand a kapoa, but in the niake, I feel like, uh, and, I, and I feel uh, like I can do better. I That's do all be- women oh, do. Okay. Some women, okay, not someone. all women. Some women. Mm. Don't say it. Don't say 80. We don't have this. Oh, let's test. give it 99. Uh, no, no, no. no. We don't have the numbers, guys. 0.5. Because, <laughs> because. <laughs> All right. Have you had okay, madam, madam, what a kwambia? Oh, you look good, you're good. Alafu kitoka tu hivi. Wewe na ringa hapa. Yes, because I've been in a situation <laughs> where kitu that's, lady... how, that's how most of them behave. Okay, for men we are different. Nasema, uh-huh. oh nigga, how are you? Uh-huh. Oh, you when mjinga wangu uko wapi? Uh-huh. And then after, after, after that, eh, we bure, we bure we ngombe. We ni ngombe kabisa. And uh-huh. then after disconnecting that call, nasema, eh, huyu jamani jamaa wangu. I think what men do. But for ladies, adali. <laughs> No, you you men <laughs> you speak to that that way to your friends, but when you you're, when you're sleeping with you in your, in your beds, you tell us how they they were wearing <laughs> baggy tops and uh, goes in your pasi and you're here pretending. Like, no, it's not to make you feel. No, 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 I'm not act, I'm not saying that you be, uh, you'll be telling me something off about another woman. You'll be telling me something off about, about uh, a, a man that is your friend or uh-huh. even your companion, like and you you be think, like I think Tom is dating wrong. <laughs> 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 no, that's what you do.